have a feeling uh, that we join in our forces and link in to the unified field. And by creating a powerful healing vortex, um, we send healing energy uh, to our brothers and sisters all over the world. I got words from one of our participants that um, India apparently has gone into, they call it the grim state. And um, apparently there's a new strain of COVID. It's come back and it's very strong, which I'm not surprised about it at all. And um, so it's, they say it's a very critical situation in India and they're expecting the virus to do a lot of damage. So, so what we're gonna do is, why don't we just do a meditation to work on the virus and raise the vibrations of the virus and diffuse it through love. How's that? Yeah, is that cool? Yeah? Right. So why don't we all just relax and take a deep breath and kind of come to your center. Bring yourself into your own center. Dive into your own center by recognizing your center, by recognizing this place within yourself. This place that is not moving, it's still, stillness. The unified field the presence, your being. You dive within your own being by disconnecting from the world of thoughts, from the world of movements, from the world that changes, and reconnecting to this part of yourself that does not move, doesn't change, that is still. Stillness within, like a Zen master. It's just like focused, one pointedness. You mean business. You are concentration, your focus, your attention diverts within yourself. And you do a journey, you travel You make yourself comfortable, you just relax. You've done that many times before. By now, you should be an expert in it. You are educating yourself, training yourself of how to disconnect from the world. The world means anything external, anything that is outside, including your thoughts, 
Your thoughts are outside, including your emotions. including your body. They're all outside of you. None of them is inside of you. They're outside. They're outside because you're able to observe them. You're able to see them. You're able to see the changes. Therefore, they cannot be inside you. So you shift your attention. And you dive within. And you keep going deeper and deeper. You keep going deeper within yourself. To the depth of your being, deeper, it's a journey, and you come to silence, it's quiet, it's still, it's calm, it's warm.
the deeper you go within yourself, the more you disappear. You disappear in the background. Eventually, there will be no you. It's only the background.
The deeper you dive inside yourself, the more you become quiet, the more you are connected to that which is always here, that which is all powerful, that which gives life and takes life away, you become one with it. And in your connection with that, you go beyond your limitations. You have access to tremendous amount of power, but first you have to dive within yourself to recognize your power. It's a universal power. It's the presence that lives within you. And it's here to be discovered. It's waiting for you to discover. Discovering your own being, your majestic self. The more you're quiet, the more expanded you become. The more you wrapped up in your mind, the more limited you become. You become trapped. Silence is your key to your freedom by being quiet within yourself. You get access to the kingdom of heaven. By being quiet, away from your mind, You tap 
into the unified field of the oneness. Just like now, you feel a tremendous amount of silence, inner peace, safe, safety. You tap into that realm Be quiet and learn how to derive from your inner power by being silent, being going beyond the mind. And you discover the wealth, the wealth which is waiting for you. Tremendous, unbelievable world within which is waiting for you to arrive to it. This world within it's unchanging. It doesn't change. And it's always calm, quiet, and safe. But the moment you leave this world of silence, you enter into the world of Maya, illusion. A world of thoughts, uncertainty, fear, worry, anxiety. Desires. And then you come back to silence and everything disappears. Your back, your home, you feel the love, you recognize you are that.
Now we tap into this energy and we use tap by tapping into this powerful energy of the presence, the divine self, by recognizing it, by diving into it. We ask Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, Lord God, to diffuse the power of this vicious virus, elevating its vibrations to love vibrations, and helping all of our brothers and sisters across the globe to lose their fears, worries, their anxiety, 
that's being created by the media and exaggerated. Dive into their hearts, recognizing the love within themselves, recognizing their own divinity. And settling into our own divinity, settling into our own love that surpasses any force in the world, surpasses everything else. The power of silence. The power of stillness. The master who has arrived to emptiness has come to that place. It's become empty, silent, still. So slowly, slowly, we're going to come back. We'll divert our attention from deep within, slowly back into the world of objects. They're coming back here, reintegrating from the world within to the world outside. Both worlds are within your reach. You have access to this wealth within yourself. You have access to this tremendous amount of inner power within yourself, it's always here. You just recognize it and tap into it and stay there by being quiet. The more you're quiet, the more you dive into it. The more it expands, the more it shows itself, the more it reveals itself. It just reveals itself to you because it's already here. It's already inside you. It's around you. It's not anything. You go get it from the outside. The teacher is helping you to find it within yourself. But it's not giving it to you. And yes, around the teacher you get activated because they can pull you into this field. But ultimately, you have to discover that this is within yourself. It's here. It's here. By getting quiet, it reveals itself. And since it's infinite, it's beyond anything. It's beyond any virus or any government or anyone, any, anything. This is beyond. Everything else feeds off of this. This is the juice. It's the juice. It's the real thing. So our academy actually today is going to be short because they allowed me to take this office. Um, they just showed me a, a notification. I have 15 more minutes, so which is very kind of them uh, because of the construction behind my home. Well, I was lucky to find this place, so um, 
I thought I could be here longer, but they just wave at me that I have 15 minutes. So. <laughs> I don't think, okay, Hilda, you wanted to, let's get into this really quickly and talk about it. You mentioned how you can protect your energy from people who suck your energy. Yeah, right? that would be great. Right. Just some keywords, you know? Yeah. All right, so we'll just brush on top of it. The best is to go to one of my podcasts or some of my videos. That was the energy vampire video that we made. This was like a few months ago. But ultimately is you have to understand that the higher are your vibrations, the more you're, you're vibrating means the more you have discovered inner peace the more you're realizing yourself, okay? The more you're realizing yourself, the more you're discovering silence, the more you're away from blah, 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 blah. Like you're not the same person as you were 10 years ago. Maybe 10 years ago you were blah, blah, blah. But now when people blah, 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 it bothers you. Or you go to places which is too loud or the music is not vibrating in the right, right frequency bothers you. So you're becoming more expanded, you're becoming more quiet. And people are attracted to that. And the people who want your energy, they want to, to listen to their story and hear the story. And the story is the same story. There's nothing interesting about it. It's the same story that gets repeated. And basically, it's not that they want you to listen to their story. It's not that. They want your energy. They want to connect to you to go into a story, and the story is a drama. And it's a drama is about poor me. Like, I always get screwed over, I always lose money, people cheat me, people take me for granted, I have bad luck and love. It's a poor me story about being a victim, and they want you to listen to this story, and they take energy from you. And then, when they're done with you, they'll go tell the story to somebody else. Same tape will be played again about poor me, I'm a victim. So you slowly recognize that with people. You recognize that there are people who are like that and they want to attach themselves to you and they want to play this broken record. And yeah, in the beginning, you may feel like, oh, I want to help this person. Maybe I give them some suggestions. Maybe I can help them enlighten themselves, but they're not listening to you. They're not interested. They're too wrapped up in their head, too wrapped up into this story that most of the time, no matter what you do and what you say and how much you try to talk to them, they don't hear you. And they keep repeating the same story. And I'm sure you've been around them, it's very exhausting. So, you have to just disconnect from them. That's it. Not to buy into it. Get rid of them. Not listen to their story. Look away. Act bored. Act uninterested. Get on your phone. Come up with something. You have to go. You're busy. You need to make a phone call. To cut it. 
So you don't, once you identify it, you got to get away from it. As simple as that. Because now they have put their tentacles in you and they want to suck your energy. That's, that's all they want. Suck your energy. As simple as that. And we've all been around it. We've all been there and it happens still every once in a while here and there. But the more you identify it, the more you become aware, the more you smell it, the more you see it with people. And the moment they go there, you have very little patience for it. You want to cut it off. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody has anything to share? Go ahead, Connie, unmute yourself. When you say that we have to go inwards, I actually go out out of my body, like, like in a in a kind of energy uh, shape, where I can look around all over from from, and then I can see myself sitting here, listening to you and whatever I do, and I can, I can have my awareness all over, in the area. Mm -hmm. So it's not going inwards or what? I mean. These are, these are just words, inwards, outwards. Because it's like that I can see myself like my body is a shape where I can go into and be a part of, but I can go outside my body also. Okay, so you're able to be outside of your body and you see it from the outside. Yeah. Okay. Great. But but it's not so much stillness. I mean, I can see my body be in stillness, but but my awareness is observing. So it's not okay. still. Okay. So how are you aware of that? Yeah. You... I'm aware that I'm observing and okay. Oh, you, hold on, you didn't listen to me. How are you aware that things are not still? How do you know that? I, I don't know if I know it, but I think that... <laughs> when you, 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 yeah. just said it. you just said that I come outside of my body, but my awareness is in a few different places. Right? Yeah. Repeating what you said, correct? Yeah. And how do you know that? How do you know that the awareness is shifting to other places? If a part of you is not still all the time. If the main part of you was shifting, then you would never even know. But you're saying that you can, you're aware of it. So yeah. where is this Connie? Where is she who is aware of everything you explained? Yeah, it's an, it's an odd place. I can't explain it. Yeah, look for that. Pay more attention to that. Yeah. Because if it was not still, you would have never known anything's moving. Okay. Okay. I, 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 I hear what you say, but I haven't grabbed it really. It's gonna, if you grab it, you become awakened. 
Okay. You say when you're meditating, you kind of feel like you're not inward, you're outwards, and then you're seeing yourself or your body from somewhere. Yeah. And your awareness shifts. You have noticed that your awareness goes to different things. Well, who is observing that? Look for that one. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. You look for that one and you're going to discover there is something here that never changes. Yeah. Something here always still. The reason we're able to observe our thoughts, you know, when your mind is busy, you know, turn on the TV and get some COVID news, or your government will come and say, you know, everyone has to stay home from now, no one can go anywhere, or blah, 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 some story, right? And we're expecting half of the population die this year, for example. I'm just being exaggerating, okay? All right, it's an exaggerated news. I'm making it up, okay? Don't, yeah. don't get afraid. So they come up with some story like that. And immediately your mind starts to really spin and get worried and going crazy. How do you know your mind went crazy? How do you know that you're, you're stressing, you're worried, you have anxiety? All of a sudden, you're feeling it, correct? You're feeling anxiety, you're feeling worry, you're feeling thoughts, your mind's going crazy. But how do you know it? Because something within you must always be still. Something is observing. Something's not moving. It's observing the mind going crazy. It's observing emotions come and go. Yeah. Look, make your life mission to look for that place. That's where you want to bring your attention to. The more you bring your attention to that place, the more you recognize this place inside you, the witness, the observer, something is here and has been doing it all of your life. The more your attention goes towards that, the more you discover the rest of the world and everything else which is changing is not real. Everything that changes, whatever, as you, your body, your children, the economy, the government, people, family, your cats, dogs, desires, your body, any, everything that changes is not real when you discover the real. Because the real doesn't change. It's always here. It's always still. That's the only real thing. But you don't know it You don't know it, that's the, because you haven't discovered it yet. Once you discover it, then you realize everything else that changes is not real. So then you don't buy it anymore. You no longer buy things that are changing. You're no longer afraid of it. You're no longer fascinated by that. You're simply observing it. 
And then you discover that you are free. You are completely free. That was a good one you brought up. I'm glad you did. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So any other questions before they ask me to leave? Go ahead. Yeah, hi. Um... I just uh, some weeks ago had uh, my first Pfizer vaccine. After three minutes, I uh, was fainting. Um, and uh, when they came and got me, I um, was very calm, not afraid, just focusing on my breath. Um, and they would put me in an ambulance. Um, and then I heard myself asking for my bag. Uh, they got it. And uh, then I asked for my jacket. They got it. And then I heard myself ask, am I going to die now? And I just, I, I wasn't afraid of dying. I just wanted to know. Mm -hmm. But um, I guess my question is, where was I? <laughs> I, 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 was, uh, I have the impression that I uh, went out of my body. Mm -hmm. Right. But I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah, you tapped into the truth of who you are. The truth of who you are is that your awareness, pure awareness, that which is here, aware. Aware of the right hand has a body, aware of the body got vaccine, vaccinated, the body got sick and fell down. The awareness is here, is aware. Here. The more you recognize it, the more you find the rest of the story just a story. The more you recognize your, the awareness. Awareness is here. Awareness has always been here. It doesn't go, it doesn't come. It's always here. That's your identity, not this one. This is not the identity, this. The more you identify with the truth of who you are, the real you, the, the, the less you're worried about this one. You're still operating from it, but it loses its importance. Okay, <laughs> nice to see you. We'll meet again next week. Hopefully I'll be able to operate from my house. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, as far as the shamanic healing circle goes, I need to find out if next week there's heavy construction or not. If it's not, then maybe I can conduct it on Thursday. I need to figure this out. Right now it's very like, the situation I'm in is very funny and uh, it's very difficult to make any plans. So bear with me and I'll figure this out. Other than that, I'll meet you next Wednesday. Uh, those of you, the first time watching this, uh, my website is zaratustra.tv. And if you're interested to communicate with me, you can write to me in, at info at zaratustra.tv. TV. Very nice seeing you, sending you my love. Stay in your heart. Keep practicing being here in this place, away from the story. Get yourself familiar with this space because this is your power. 
This is who you are. And the more you're in this meditative state, the more you're in calm and quiet, the less you get sucked into the world of fear. And this is what we're doing now, staying here in this place. Okay? Long as there. Look forward to seeing you next week. Love you all.